18 years ago, here in the town of Tree Hill, a high school athlete named Dan Scott led his team to the state championship. Later that same year, he became the father of two boys, two sons, with two different mothers. He married one of them and raised that son in his own image. Remember, 20 shots, no less. Got it, Dad. The other boy, well, that son he never would accept or pay any mind. This is the story of those two half-brothers growing up in the same town. They always managed to keep their distance. <laughs> but in a small town like Tree Hill, it was just a matter of time. Scott. What's up, Coach? Not you. You. You read a book or something. I like my gems quiet. Kind of like a church. A lot of praying done here anyway. Look, I've got an opening in my lineup. Varsity. Chance of a lifetime. What do you say? I say those people that pray here are wasting their time. God doesn't watch sports. Lucas Scott never really fit in. Always felt kind of like an outsider. There's somebody left at the door. Take it off. I'm not playing. Not with those guys. I mean, you guys ever think that maybe this is where we belong? No. We belong here. You've never belonged here. Now, Nathan Scott, he's a different story. Raised under the watchful eyes of his dad, he never could do enough to please that man whose own life hadn't turned out quite the way he planned. He's got our last name, Dad. Look, it's kind of screwed up, all right? In fact, he shares your last name's only wishful thinking on his mother's part. Get out of there. I want you to go to this kid. Encourage him not to play. I'm not afraid of him, Dad. Worked too hard at anyone coming in now, disrupting the offense, taking away shots. Nice shot. What do you want? What do I want? What do you want, man? I mean, other than my girlfriend and my spot in the lineup. Huh? But here's the deal. You and me. One on one. You can name the time and the place. If you win, I'll quit the team. If I win, you crawl back in your little hole and you remember your place in all this. Nathan, it's me. All right, well, listen, my car broke down. You're gonna have to come pick me up. Well, sucks to be you. Come on, let me give you a ride. God, why are guys such jerks? Guys or Nathan? Him? You? I don't know. We share the same father. Yeah, I heard that. It's kind of an ass. So that must suck having to see him around? From my mom. I never knew him. So why'd you just tell me all that? I mean, we don't even know each other. Maybe that's the point. For both Lucas and Nathan, basketball is more than just a game. It's a competition born from something deeper, something neither can bear the thought of losing. I can't change the fact this kid exists. If I could, I would. The truth is, I told Karen I'd take care of it. She... If I win, I'm gonna want something else. I do a lot of stuff for you. Almost everything. <sighs> but I'm gonna do this for me. Hi, Mr. Scott. Peyton? Okay, and so what if he wins? What's he gonna get? He gets you. 
ready for this? Why not? It's your life, man. Yeah. It is. And there's a bigger picture here. Your picture. And this kid's not in it. You have no right to think of him, not today or any other day of his life. How dare you? You're despicable, you know that? Letting the dreams of this team just vanish. You know what? You want to be a bitch? That's cool. And I'll see you tomorrow. He's never mentioned it, man. Not once in all these years. So what'd you bet? I win, Nathan stays on the team. Why? Because it's the last thing he wants. And anyway, it's not about him. I'll be seeing you. Come on, hold my hand. I wanna contact the living. Not sure I understand. This road I've been given